Yeah. Go, Dark Souls. <laughs> I choose you. Yeah. To fight uh, Lord Soul today. Oh, do you know? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna make a pit stop actually. Okay. You're gonna what? Pit stop. Oh, pit stop. He did what in his cup? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna see if Andre can upgrade my sword here. Oh yeah, cause you have an ember that we could give to Andre, right? That is right? true, yeah. What, is, what do the embers do? Make it so you can level up more. Ah. Yeah, sure. Oh, so it's like, um, uh, summer smithing stone, uh, bell bearing sort of thing? Or what? I have enough. I don't. Well, shoot. Hmm. All right, wait. Wait, what do you need? Require, okay. Oh, we oh, just dude, need more I, souls. I more souls yeah, so just do some crush. Do I have any crush? You should be able to. You should have some crush. I know we've picked up a couple over the past couple yeah, of episodes. Yeah, we do have them. Yeah, we have dang, some we several have crush. Yeah, we have smoke. Well, don't crush smoes. Little hero. So can you only get either the soul of Ornstein or the soul of Smoe? Whoever is supercharged. Whoever, yeah, yeah, whoever supercharged. That's how. That makes sense. Whoa! Yeah, they get 10,000. You just about doubled your souls. I guess what we could do. Oh, technically, okay, so we could get Smo's hammer uh -huh. with the Lord Soul, but we have to get a club to plus ten, and only the the okay. giant blacksmith can do that. So, oh uh, yeah, where's the giant blacksmith again? It's in Orlando. Ah, uh, uh, we're just gonna level. Up. Where in Orlando? It's kind of hard to explain. All right. So you know, never mind. No, nah, the, the, if we go there, I will know how. I will know where he be. All right. Well, I guess we're just. Powering up our weapon. All right, we see one more <laughs> twinkling tide at night, and we should be good. Yeah, one more twinkling tide at night, and we can go up to plus five. What's the highest you can go with weapon levels in this game? Plus twenty. Whoa. I think. And this is already a pretty beefy weapon. Okay, with these, I think it's. It might just be plus five. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. I don't know. There's only so much Tone Cooking Titanite in the game. So, oh yeah, that's true. So I think it's plus five for Black Knight or, or Black Knight weapons. Don't okay. worry, Andre. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I'm worried about you, buddy. I I'm sorry, man. Also, I'm I'm technically dubbing Dapper this Sack Man. I'm dubbing this as Sack Knight. Sack Knight. Dapper Sack Knight. I need to find better knight clothing. Sack Knight McDankenstein. Sure. Uh, Tombs of the Giant. AKA Jeff the Fail. Yes. Jeff the Fail, Sack Knight of Great he's Renown. He's so embarrassed by his failiness, he's wearing a sack. <laughs> Until it's now. It's shame. we need the Sunlight Maggot. <laughs> the what? The Sunlight Maggot. Maggot? Yeah, we're wearing a bug on our face right now. Oh. Did Why we... is it shaped so perfectly like a star, though? Patches, did we kill you? I don't remember. I think Sure we hope did. we did. All I right, cool. I think we did. I think we did. Oh, yeah. Dang. Oh, oh, dang, geez. you do a lot Skelly of damage. Dogs. Skelly dogs still hurt a lot. I see that. You Don't use the homeward bone. Please okay, plug. bye. Please Whatever. <laughs> bye. Oh, hey, there Skelly you dogs. Okay, I'm what gonna... the George? Eh. Wow, that didn't really... That didn't even... That did half. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Holy cow. Hi, Get used death to... screen. Get used to that, Nice text. to see you again. <laughs> Maybe I'm not ready for this area. <laughs> I was going to say, um, what? Oh, shoot, I didn't... I didn't rest there. Apparently. Uh, Oofta McDoofta. The Oofta McDoofta. Honestly, when a boss run back is harder than the boss itself, it seems kind of dumb. Welcome to Dark Souls. <laughs> and yet it's like one of the most cherished games of all time. It's oh, like... it's a, it's Okay, so if you beat Dark Souls, you have done more than like... 99% of the world. Of the, yeah, of the You're in that casual special gamers. group of beating the You are considered game. a true gamer as opposed to a casual I'm, gamer. Did he just jump the cliff? What, what just happened? happened? Backstepped. Are you still here? No, he died. No, All he right. died. <laughs> he just like, I shall take a step back. <gasps> I thought I had more of a room than that. So what happens right, when you so misjudge your girth. Uh, another big one. There's going Hey, that's Ooh, no, George. You scare me. Hi, Mr. Giant Skeleton Man. How's it going? Skeleton Man, Wee. gonna run and roll and jump and die. That was. Whoa, jeez. Hello. Going, I don't know. I am going. Oh. Okay, that's good. Okay, cool. That sounded like it was healthy. It broke several bones, most of which were its own. Hey. Hey. Oh, this. Everything about this seems treacherous. 
Also, this is Ash Lake. I don't yep. remember if we've been there yet. Uh, I believe we ran over there to talk to the Dragon Covenant dude. Did we get the Dragon Covenant stone? I uh, probably, considering I can't imagine why else we would have gone down there. Did we? Hang on. I was gonna see There's only go one reason I would go down there. And you did go down there. I remember that. Did I? I don't have the... Even though it was months ago. I don't have the Dragon Greatsword, though. Huh. So... That's probably know. what you had the intent of doing, but yeah. just didn't. Hi, Pokies from Mario Kart. <laughs> and I, well, I guess they were just in regular Mario yeah, games before Mario Kart. Mario, yeah. Uh, what was the first Mario game to have Pokies? Hi. Uh, probably, I think it was just the Super Mario Bros. Or the, the NES Was it ones. in the original? I think so. It was in the Desert World. I don't remember the Desert Worlds very much. Alright, Pinwheel, I need you to not shoot me. I just remember, the only, like, no, world yeah, types I remember way. are Overworlds, uh, Undergrounds, Water, and Bowser's Castle. Those are the only ones I remember. Okay, well, Desert one. Huh. Was that the only one that I don't remember? Maybe. Yeah. Traverse the White Light, Traverse the White Light, no Pinwheels. I mean, you get iframes in it. Unlike Dark Souls 2. Yeah. The dumbest change you've ever made. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Fall damage and I it's poison so water. Sometimes. It's like the stupidest fall in. All right. So basically, you have hi to... Nito. Uh, Just the... listen for the tells. Okay. You got tuck and roll McGee. Right. Tuck and roll McGee. Come at me. Can you re-kill them, or will they just keep respawning? No, you, they will respawn. Oh, he's screaming, he's screaming, he's screaming. I was in a pose. No, you weren't. Stop JoJo posing. Oh, jeez. Get out oh. of it! <laughs> oh, and you've been toxic. I see that. All right, now I must confess gonna... that it seems kind of toxic. Oh, jeez. Am I not kidding him? There we go. You are, but you should probably just, like, you know, oh, okay. not do that. I was thinking you should probably get some distance and heal. Well, as we've uh, established, the best way to fight this boss is to have him come to you so the giant skeletons don't anchor. I'm pretty sure I rested at the other bonfire. Uh, I don't think you did, actually. Probably escaped my mind. Yep. Well, this time, don't let it escape your mind. It's like I can only remember three things at once. <laughs> Whoa. Is that a JoJo reference? It is. It's in the new <laughs> episodes. Everyone go watch JoJo. Everybody go watch JoJo Part 6. It's new stuff. It's great. Yeah. Very confusing, though. Even now, this is going to be like... Probably a year later after it hey, came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering these are like this is the series that we're. That is true. This is the series that we're like looking working right on. Nope. These are the. Uh, this is the Friday episode series until we're done with the Dark Souls. Correct. And then after that, um, what do you think about playing as your next game? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Mm, well, didn't you mention possibly Borderlands? I could do Borderlands. Well, more like Borderlands Two. Is, are they? Isn't it a story-based game though? Like, wouldn't wouldn't it be uh, important to have the context from the first game? Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right there. But who needs context? Aren't there three of them? There's four of them actually. Four of them now. Okay. Or, you, or would you be interested There's... in playing through all four? Not necessarily I mean, back to back. I've never played the first one. Oh. I played. Well, then that would be a very exciting thing to do pre first. The pre-sequel. The pre the pre the C prequel. The pre the pre sequel. The precipice. So basically, <laughs> it was made after two, but it takes place between one and two. And in between, cool. Sure. It's like and then Borderlands and a half. three. <laughs> okay, so I would like be super ecstatic to play Borderlands, even uh -huh. though the only really good game is Borderlands two. I feel like. You didn't like three or four. Well, there's no four. Um, I thought you just said there were four. Yeah, but they're not named that way. Oh. Okay. Well. When I refer to four, I'm just referring to the fourth game. You so three. What? Yeah, Borderlands four is Borderlands three. The fourth one made is Borderlands three. So what were the other ones? Borderlands one, which okay. is just called Borderlands. Uh huh. Borderlands two, okay. which is called Borderlands two. Uh huh. Borderlands three, which is Borderlands pre sequel. And then Borderlands three, which is or Borderlands four, which is called the Borderlands three. So Borderlands three isn't actually Borderlands three. Well, it is. You're just saying, like, cannot, like chronologically, the third Borderlands game... Yes. Okay. What you're thinking of, yes, you're getting on track. Okay. So why would you refer to it as Borderlands 3 if that's not actually its title? Because that's the title of the game. 
I thought you just said that Borderlands 3 was a different game. Like, the fourth Borderlands game was Borderlands 3. Yeah. I'm referring to the one that's that was made third. Oh, um, well, pre-sequel. Yeah, the pre-sequel. It's not called Borderlands 3, so why would you call it the third, like, the Borderlands 3? Because you're the one who asked me what it was. No, I was asking, <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't understand what okay, you're trying what, to get at. <laughs> what is the chronology? Like, if we would Chronolog go chronologically... I'd, oh, well, I felt good about that run until so did I. I got kitchen knifed. That's uh, the biggest, ugliest kitchen knife I've ever seen. Well, okay, glorious. that was cursed, um, but also kind of cool. What were we talking How about? Health bar there. We were talking about the Borderlands chronology. Yeah. Okay. Chronology. It's Borderlands one. Okay. Borderlands the pre sequel. Okay. Borderlands two. Borderlands three. What is the pre sequel called? The pre sequel. It's just called the pre sequel. It's literally called Borderlands the pre sequel. Yes. I guess, considering the the tone of the Borderlands games, from what I understand, that shouldn't surprise me all that much. I guess there's actually five of them, because then there's Tiny Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Which just came out? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like a D&D. &D yeah, I was going to say, isn't it, like, different in terms of gameplay? Like, very different from the others? It has nothing really to do with the story, from what I know of. I mean, okay. there could be something to do with the story that no one has told me. Okay. I bet one. Yeah, th one this seems like an area where, why would you fight everything, sort of, area? Because it's dark and cold and don't want to. And No, that's what I'm saying is it seems like a place where the optimal strategy would not be to kill everything. It's like, just run through. Don't try to kill everything. It's literally every, like, boss run back. It's just like, you just get so used to it. Like, I'm not killing Well, yeah, anymore. but I mean, like, even if you're exploring <coughs> for the first time, it's just like, run through, grab the items, and get out. There's no point in fighting everything. Yeah, more Kind of like most of the Urnia of the Lakes. Don't bother fighting the lobsters or the Octosketty. Just grab the items and ride out of there. Yes. Take the money and run. <laughs> Come on, take the money and run. These guys are terrible shots. I once got invaded here one. Yeah, I once got invaded here by an actual guy. Oh, and that would suck. I was fighting him and he rolled off the edge and died. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Three souls. Yeah, and he, I don't remember exactly what you get from that, but it's like, yeah, you get souls, humanity, and something else. Uh, their weapon? No. Uh, like, this was like human player. Well, it was, it was I know. Like a... But I was just thinking if they have a specific weapon that they're using. No, that'd be super broken. Sure. I opened the pause menu. Gonna... Oh dear. Knife. Did he already do that? Yes, I heard the scream. It's like, listen for the scream. Are you He's kidding me? He's doing it me? again. What? Okay, that seemed right, bogus because you rolled at the correct time. Wait a second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. That one. Eat it quick, please. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I must confess that he s seems to play toxic. Don't scream. I was going to say, uh, you should probably grab your souls. Oh, okay, he did the thing again. Okay, why? Stop standing on my souls. Take a glug. Oh, jeez, guys. I, I know. Oh, he's doing have... the thump. He's doing the thump. He's doing the kitchen knife attack. How? How the ever-loving George. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Sonic Dash much? Yep. Basically, this is a fight where everything has to go right, or it's going to go extremely, extremely Poorly. wrong. Yep. Which, to me, like, I get that the these particular games are, like, really well loved, and the lore is indeed extremely fascinating, but there are a lot of design decisions that I'm like, how can people defend this as being well designed? Considering this was made in 2011. Okay, Ow. that's not a... That's not an excuse, though. Well, like, for people claiming it has good design. No, this game doesn't but, really have that great of design. Yeah. Compared to the other games in the series. Yeah. But, but I mean, like, this is still, well, like, regarded as the best Souls game oh, yeah, by most sure. people. And it's like, well, then, what makes it good? Other than, like, the tone and atmosphere and that it's the first. The amount of memorability that there is. Nostalgia. Sure. Nostalgia's blinding. Like how some people seem to think that Mario Kart 64 is the best Mario Kart. Hey, to which I don't say, at me. <laughs> to which I say, um, no. You know what I say to that? You never grew up with it. Th that's what. That's my point, though. Yeah. Nostalgia is blinding. I get why people have fond feelings for it, but you can't objectively say something is the best of something. When it's clearly not, it's just you have so a lot the, of fun what memories. Would be, what would be the best of it then? Well, that depends on what you find is the most enjoyable. Like I would say eight, just because it has the most fleshed out mechanics. But there are blind by nostalgia. But 
Uh, that's not nostalgia. It's I've, the only one you've I've, ever played until you started I've, playing Wii. No, I've been playing a, all the emulators too. Like I've, I yeah, have you've, experience you've put playing the most all hours of them. into eight. So yes, but that's not nostalgia. That's just all of the mechanics are the most fleshed out in eight. It's nostalgia so, from like three years ago. It's not nostalgia. <laughs> nostalgia is liking something in spite of its flaws, with no regard for any actual design. Eight can has a like, whole is... bunch of flaws and design flaws. Yes. Okay. What? Uh, the fact that items are totally broken in that game. The fact that you can't win just by skill. You um, can't do that in any Mario. You can card. do that in Wii. I tell you that every single day, and you refuse to believe me. Because I can tell you from experience that that's not the case. Brothers, you've have you watched competitive Wii Mario Kart? Not every person who plays Mario Kart is competitive level. That's like saying, have you played? So the difference why like, everyone have you eight? seen a professional Overwatch players like Junker Queen is the most broken character. It's like I couldn't get value out of her because she has a very specific high skill ceiling kit. Don't do it again, it's you the stupid same... Nito thing. All right, that's what I don't get. How are you supposed to dodge that? You have to, <laughs> dude. You're gonna die. No. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, you're gonna die from a skeleton hit long before the toxic kills you. <laughs> oh. All right, maybe I should just rush him. Isn't that like what you've been trying to do? No, but I'm trying to then kind you of take like here. seventy. But then you take like seventy hits from skeletons and the stupid scream knife from the floor. Yes, but no. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like I know there's like um, like Mario Kart Eight seems like the most fleshed out in terms of overall variety of mechanics. But I understand arguments for things like Double Dash because it has enough unique mechanics to be considered its own thing. Like it's its own take, so it can't really be compared in terms of mechanics to Mario Kart Eight. Like it has much more touchy controls and the uh, character swapping and item swapping thing is unique to Double Dash. Yes. So like it could be argued Double Dash versus 8 in terms of that sort of thing. But like almost every other Mario Kart like could be fairly compared to 8 and 8 is obviously the best because it came out the latest so its mechanics are the most well fleshed out. I can kind of disprove that entire fact by being that the latest one out does not mean it's the best one. Okay, yeah, I mean, that is a fair argument. I'm just saying, I've yet your, to see your opinion I've yet for Mario see, Kart is that though. No, well, it's I'm just saying I've yet to see a convincing argument to tell me why eight is not the best, other than That's something like other than something like Double Dash because it has enough unique mechanics to it to where it could be compared fairly. Whereas something like 64, seven DS. Like, those are all basically the same game as 8, just older and therefore less flesh out mechanics. I'm not going to argue in terms of, like, track design, because that's that's up in well, the air. Like, DS, DS has eight's some... 8's literally getting every good... What is up with that stick? Um, 8's getting every, like, track now, apparently. Well, most every... of them. Like, I've gone through the roster now. I've become quite obsessed with just researching and going through and making lists and stuff and analysis of Mario Kart games. And, um, yes, with the Booster Course Pass, okay, really? 8 now has over half of the total carts He's in the skeleton. franchise. Stop it, Skeleton Bros. Or that is to say, uh, representations. Okay, really? When you talk about uh, representation, that's like, if you consider... Oh, jeez. Well, that oh, actually worked. Wow, that worked in your favor incredibly. Oh no! Knife! Stab Floor yourself! Knife. Floor knife! Got it! Oh wow! Awesome! What, dude? You're not close enough. What? what? <laughs> That's bogus, though. If you're close enough to get blocked by his invincibility cloak, it's like if you're close enough to get hit by his hitbox. I rolled too early. Okay, you, you need to glow yeah, immediately. Yeah, I know, but this dude's gonna come at me. Okay. Oh, that works. Okay, now get out of there. It's like if you're close enough to get blocked, like body blocked by his hitbox. You should be able to hit him with it, unless there's a clear shielding mechanism. And if you're telling me the back of his cloak is a shielding mechanism, I'm going to say, it's okay, a, I guess. I think it actually is a shielding mechanism. So you have to hit him from the front? Or side, yes. Front or... Alright, do your like, super like a blast move. And he then did? Move. Yes. Sweet. So that's like a, uh, what's it called? Uh, Tibia Mariner. Oh, gosh. I wonder if Tibia Mariner is meant to be a reference to Grave Lord Nito. 
Just because skeletal boss who has a, a strong as whose strongest attack Don't kills attack all their skeleton ally summons. Hey guys. Oh, hi big boys. <laughs> hey guys. Oop! I was gonna say he's doing the tumble spin. Oh no, fireball. Fireball! Oh, he grabbed me. Oh, that's a grab move. Quick, drink you your essence flask. Dead. I died. Tamold! <laughs> fireball! Tamold! <laughs> Oh, jeez. This is going to be the one boss that gives me the most trouble. Yeah. Probably this and the four kings. Mm-hmm. Okay, the more I think about it, um, I guess uh, I mean, Super Mario Kart and Super Circuit could be considered in, uh, in their own ballpark, too, because they're, like, pseudo 3D. Like, they're 2D characters and assets and stuff because they were two of the three earliest Mario Karts and uh, one was on a handheld. Ouch. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, well, there went all the souls you had. Not yeah. that you had very many. <laughs> all like a thousand. Yeah, like... I was like, going to say, you only had like 2,000 souls, I think. But, um, yeah, Super Mario Kart was the first one. And therefore, obviously, it's the simplest. But, like, Super Circuit is just a straight up upgrade in every regard, but it's still very similar in I terms mean, of all its mechanics. Made and stuff. for the Game Boy Advance, so it wasn't very powerful. Yeah, <clears> which <throat> is why, even though it came out later, it's close in terms of how it controls and stuff. It is an upgrade, but because it's um, a handheld, um, it couldn't be much of an improvement. That is true. But I will like, in terms of those two games, Super Circuit is the better game. In pretty much every regard. I don't think anybody's going to argue that Super Circuit was worse than Super Mario Kart. No, not at all. But then um, Double Dash is sort of its own thing because it, it did something very unique with the two racers, the much slippier controls. Um, it doesn't have any retro tracks because of the way it handles its own stuff. Like, it just has the 16 nitro tracks. Then I think they're still having like unique ideas at that point of tracks. Yeah. Um, but then you have, uh, which just leaves the remaining 3D Mario Karts, which is, it starts out with 64, was the first, like, truly 3D, even though the character sprites were still 2D, because, like, just due to system, system, uh, uh, limitations, limitations thank you, uh, <clears throat> system limitations for the N64, uh, kept it from being, like, it was, st it's still a, a good game, and there was a lot of, really good things that it implemented in terms of the series as a whole but it definitely had things that it had to sacrifice in order to make things work H hence the existence of the 2d sprites for the characters yeah i was gonna say once you open this fog gate you're gonna need to take a glove before you jump yeah, i know um was probably a double glug to be safe yeah, there you go. all right um <laughs> is another one that's in that franchise. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, uh, motion controls is an optional thing that was introduced in Wii. Um, I mean, it's but like, supposed to be like a main... That was, like, the... That's okay, just the main crux of the console, though. Like, you can still f uh, drive it with a stick. Don't do it, Nito. Oh, jeez! Oh, come on. Okay, like, well. figuring out the... Nito's Scream Floor Sword seems to be like an Elden Ring, like a lot of Elden Ring bosses, where the attack comes out way after the tell, and it's like, when is the actual attack coming out? Nope, oh, okay. Oh. I'm getting to wonder if this is the smartest guy to go after first. Eh, it's fine. Not that much could do to help this. Yeah, honestly. Like, this seems like the one that takes the most amount of I luck. I guess more health, if anything. I say that, but Bed of Chaos is entire, like, all of its difficulty has to do with luck. If I just become faster, I hope. But I'm also more vulnerable now. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. N64 was the first of that, like, series of fully 3D games. And then, uh, the next... I guess the next was Double Dash, but it's its own thing. Um, meaning the next one after that would be DS... Then 3DS. No, the DS, oh, then we... Oh, I fell in a crack. All right. <laughs> well, even after running back enough times, like, you start thinking about other stuff, and it's like, wait, was this the... Well, there's my phone, apparently. All right, well, he's going to take a phone call. I'm going to be the entertainment of the night. 
So what do you guys call a rat with a tux and a hat? A classy rat. That was a terrible joke. I am going to leave myself out of this. Or take my leave, that's what I meant. Well, it sounds like homemade pretzels are done. Heck yeah, pretzels. Homemade pretzels are amazing. Don't oh! kill me, alright. Ballpark pretzels. Yeet us. Are they in, Delete the us. A, in the shape of a pretzel? No, they're in the shape of a, a dog turd. Wow. <laughs> you guys have. Of course they're in the shape of a pretzel. It's a pretzel. <laughs> What's. It's round and orange. Cookie. <laughs> No, it's not a cookie. It's a fruit. Uh, what do you mean you get, have I ever showed you that? No. Someone like Is it a Sesame Street it's, thing? Yeah, so it's like one of those like it's Kermit the Frog and Cookie Monster. <laughs> and he's like trying to guess him like what's inside of a box. Uh-huh. And it's like an orange. Uh huh. So he's like, it's something you eat round and orange. Cookie! Yeah, and he's like, cookie! Like, well, so someone, like, slowed down their voice, so they just sound, like, really dumb. Demonic, almost? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, it's not a cookie. What? What do you mean you give up? <laughs> you can't give up. It's round, and it's something you eat, and it's orange. It's an orange! <laughs> It's an orange! That's one, that's one of those things where it's... That's like one of those memes, like those really sad family feud clips. <laughs> where someone's just absolutely oh. stupid. Name something Name yellow. an animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. Alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh... Okay, bye, whatever. Wait, where are you going, man? They don't want to fight you anyway. Alright. Ow! But yeah, uh... What is DS had a lot of really good tracks, but it being a portable, it was basically just like a slight control wow, improvement really? over 64, and it includes some new Roll items. Roll you right. <laughs> It includes some new items and was a kind of a smoothing of the controls of 64. Just and it was keep rolling. and it was fully 3D. Why? Oh, come on, George, George Foreman. Um, and then dang, why he's like? We came after that, and that was like. A huge improvement in terms of like graphics. You skeletons um, are the worst enemies in this boss fight. Oh my word, you're still alive. Never mind. <laughs> All right, karma compilation. Karma much? Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, we came after that, and that if I just, like, was weird. another like general improvement, and that included. I think that, I did this last time. But... That introduced trick jumping, which I think was the biggest like little quality of life thing overall that I really enjoy. Alright, here we go. Is tricking. Okay. Don't worry, I'm wearing Havel's ring. <laughs> <laughs> is that gonna help all that much? No. <laughs> I was gonna say oh no. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. What are you talking about? How much defense is that actually gonna lend it you? It actually has a whole bunch of defense. Hang on. Okay. Um Alright, so I took it off. Whoops. It gives me ninety two defense. Oh just Jimmy. just for the chest plea. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention the the greaves, the gauntlets and the gauntlets and the boots, and it killed me instantly. Well, 